What? Sephiroth? Oh, come on. This is so disappointing. <laughs> oh. You missed me, but you definitely cut up the merch. Look, man, I have no problem with you. I just preferred if Master Chief or Crash Bandicoot or someone else got included. It's nothing personal. Oh. 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 Hey, but you know who was talking smack? Mario? Yeah, go kill him. Sephiroth is the newest Smash Ultimate DLC fighter, and the second one to rep the Final Fantasy game series. Or more specifically, the seventh one, because you know, nobody gives any love to the other games. Hey, don't cry. It's okay. It's okay. Sephiroth is the main antagonist in Final Fantasy VII, where he originally appeared on the PS1 in all of his blocky glory. And later he appears in the remake with less blocks than before, but you know you like the blocks better. I don't want to go into too much more detail about Sephiroth because I might say some spoilers, so I won't. Just know he's a one-winged angel with chiseled abs and a ridiculously long sword and his theme music slaps i'm not gonna play it because i'm not trying to get copyrighted out here come on i'm not stupid i don't have a strong connection to the final fantasy franchise and i didn't grow up with final fantasy 7 but i always knew who cloud was from kingdom hearts and i definitely knew who sephiroth was because i could never ever beat him why was he so hard in this game so sakurai wanted to recreate my traumatic kingdom hearts experience and made sephiroth a boss that you had to beat in order to unlock So that's a little bit about the boy Seth, but now that you know who he is, let's learn how to play him, shall we? Sephiroth is another anime sword fighter, with range longer than any other sword fighter before him. And you know what they say about long swords? Well, you shouldn't, because Smash is for good boys and good girls. Shame on you. Let's start with his normal attacks. His jab is a classic one-two punch kick thing that is one of his quicker moves. His dash attack is a lunge of dark aura, like Mewtwo, but more edgy. It's fast and can kill if you're close to the blast zone. His forward tilt swiftly strikes the sword, which is great for creating space between you and your enemy. Sephiroth has a sliding down tilt which can allow for him to dodge some attacks, making it a great approaching tool, and a decent combo starter. His up tilt stabs straight up in the sky, which is great for catching those floaty characters. It also has a small hitbox next to Seph before stabbing which brings enemies up to it. His neutral air is an orb which goes it is by far his quickest air move and a strong out of shield option. And it's a solid attack for when you're trying to land. His forward air has him stabbing forward into the air, which is a good attack for catching enemies recoveries or air dodges. And you can also stab the wall with your forward air, which helps you mix up your recovery. Slow down, stab the wall, wiggle like you're gonna make your ass fall off. If you want to actually kill though, use his back air. It's a swipe so big, it goes through the stage sometimes. But nothing is bigger than his up air, which swipes the sky, which is the best for juggling and ultimately killing enemies. And the best move for killing yourself is his down air. It pulls you straight down doing good damage, and it can even spike. It's a great landing option when enemies are camping your landing area, and it even stabs through platforms. All of his grabs are pretty straightforward, with some being good for combo starters at low percents, but if you want to send the enemy flying, we have to talk about his smash attacks. Sephiroth's forward smash really utilizes the full length of the sword, swinging it like a baseball player going for a touchdown or whatever baseball players do. When you land a hit with it, it's so satisfying. His up smash is a huge swipe that can keep enemies in the air for more combos or just straight up kill. It can even reach the top platform on Battlefield. That's really freaking long, bro. Sephiroth's down smash is him stabbing the sword into the ground. It can easily break shields. And even edgeguard some enemies' recoveries. Sephiroth is a real epic gamer, because mid-game, he will drink a Red Bull and get a wing. 
This wing gives him an extra jump, makes him harder to kill, and makes his attacks slightly stronger. According to Sakurai, it randomly comes out when you need it. It's weirdly vague, but assume it comes out when you start to lose, I guess? Oh yeah, and it also gives your smash attacks super armor. So that's fun. If you think that's busted, wait till you see his special moves. His neutral special is a fireball that goes pretty far, but when you charge it, it can become blue and goes half as far, but is super strong. Like Heroes Kaboom strong. Or you can super duper charge it, and it only goes like a whole foot away, but it's basically a tactical nuke incoming! <laughs> These moves are so incredible for edge guarding. Just don't let them reflect the nuke because it will kill you at low percents, like they did to me on Twitch. <clears throat> oh no! His side special is his Shadow Flare, which puts these little black fireballs on enemies, and after a little bit, they attack. These can be shielded and blocked, but it forces enemies to basically whip out their shield or take damage. These can also be reflected back to you, so just don't let that happen, you noob. His down special is a counter that will easily kill enemies that are silly enough to attack it. Even if enemies don't attack it, it will sparkle and do damage. Just watch out, it won't counter powerful moves like Falcon Punch. And it only covers the front of Sephiroth, which means he's wide open everywhere else. His up special is Octolash or Blade Dash. If you hold it, he'll do the Octolash, which is a bunch of samurai swipes, which will stop goofy goobers from trying to edge guard you. But if you miss, it has a lot of end lag. And if you don't hold it down, it becomes the Blade Dash, which is a super quick dash with little end lag. The Octolash is a pretty great kill move for Sephiroth, especially when you're trying to catch enemies in the air. And it's also a pretty great recovery. Wow, must be nice. I know I'm not a pro, but one of my most recent enemies accidentally died and I got Sephiroth into freaking elite smash. Something I've done with very few characters, even Isabel for some reason. So listen to these pro tips. Number one, against enemies with reflectors or bounce, avoid using your big boom blasts. You really don't want to get finessed by somebody online. It really hurts, both in game and in your corazón. Number two, his side special shadow flares can help you secure kills. Enemies launched towards the blast zones with flares attached to them will be finished by the orbs. It's so satisfying when it happens. Number three, learn the distances of your flare, your mega flare, and your giga flare. Yes, those are their correct names. That way you can get better at edge guarding enemies and securing kills and the W. After you've got this mastered, getting kills with these moves is gonna be like that easy. Number four, this game is all about asserting dominance. So whenever you're playing as Sephiroth, you have to go in shirtless with the abs. You just have to. Look, I don't make the rules. I was pleasantly surprised by Sephiroth's addition into Smash Bros. He is a sword fighter, but has a wholly different style and is a welcome presence in the game. If I had to put him somewhere on the tier list, I would put him in upper A tier. But how is he for noobs? For noobs, I would say he's medium difficulty. Nothing in his kit is outrageously difficult, but he isn't the easiest to use initially. But what do you think? If you played him, what would you rate him? Do you think he's top tier or low tier? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay guys, I need to sew my shirt that Sephiroth ripped, so uh, I'll catch you later. Ya yeah, noob! Bunker boys, bunker party, 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 bunker boys, bunker party.